The Missouri River Recovery Program is a joint effort of many federal, state, and local agencies headed up by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service and the United States Army Corps of Engineers to recover the Missouri River to the greatest extent possible for the benefit of all the basin's inhabitants. The vision of this program is to provide a sustainable ecosystem supporting thriving populations of native species while providing for current social and economic values. The ecosystem of the Missouri River provides habitat for a wide variety of wildlife, including three species under federal protection the endangered least tern, the threatened piping plover, and the endangered pallid sturgeon. Channelization of the lower river created a self-scouring channel that is a minimum of 9 feet deep and 300 feet wide for the benefit of river navigation. Channelization and bank stabilization destroyed all tern and plover habitat from St. Louis to Sioux City, approximately 750 miles. New dams resulted in the flooding of available sandbar habitat in the reservoirs, as well as prevented sand from moving downstream to create new sandbars. Piping plovers begin nesting on the Missouri River in early May. It may be difficult to spot them when young, such as the nesting photo on the right, but when viewing adults, a defined neck marking can easily be spotted. Note the identifying characteristics. The red arrow shows the black neck band. The blue arrow points to the distinct black line across the forehead. Green arrows identify the orange legs and the orange beak tipped with black. Piping plovers only nest and raise young in the areas shaded in red. Once the chicks are able to fly, they may migrate south to the regions shown in green. Both males and females acti actively defend their nest territory. Typically, three to four eggs are laid in a small shallow nest scraped in the sand and lined with pebbles, hatching in approximately 28 days. Once hatched, they spend most of their time feeding in the wet sand and rely on adults to protect them from danger. Young plovers are capable of flying 22 to 25 days later. Fledged plovers lack the black markings around the neck and head. In addition, their beaks are entirely black. When the adults reach the wintering grounds, they assume their winter appearance and look like fledged birds. Piping plovers protect their nests and chicks by doing broken wing display. When a predator comes into a nesting area, the plovers first walk some distance from the nest, vocalize, and then begin the broken wing display in an attempt to lure the predator away from the nest or chicks. Some of the common predators of piping plovers are raccoons, coyotes, fox, great horned owls, minks, gulls, and crows. This bull snake was discovered by a turn and plover monitoring crew while working on the river near Pierre, South Dakota. It had already eaten one of the four eggs in the nest and was in the process of eating the second. The snake was removed from the area and the other two eggs in the nest eventually hatched. Survey crews located along the upper Missouri River began conducting bird surveys in 1986. This process begins in the early spring and continues until all of the chicks have fledged or gained the ability to fly. Awareness can help protect the piping plovers. Signs outlining restrictions are placed at nesting sites to protect the nests and chicks from disturbances created by humans and their pets. Similar signs can be found up and down the river where nesting turns and plovers can be found. For more information on the Missouri River Recovery Program, the Missouri River and its endangered species, please visit the websites listed. Thank you for your interest.